Hey guys, so for today's Philippines vlog, we have a sneaker battle with the biggest Filipino sneaker YouTuber, Carlo, and this this is a good match. So if you guys don't know the rules, basically we pick sneakers from different stores that we go to, you guys vote on who's the winner, and it's all in good fun. So with that said, let's get this vlog underway. So the very first store we're checking out is called Got Goods. Here's the Instagram page on screen right now. It's right beside the fake markets by Green Hills, but everything in the store is legitimate, 100% authentic. They even have a bunch of sneakers that were bought from StockX and they're being sold here, or they actually have a lot of consignment here too. So if you're looking to sell your sneakers, this might be the place to do it. Are you after the Air Monarch? I love dad shoes. I'm, t I'm a Tito myself. I'm 36 years old, man, so I I'm not faking who I am. <laughs> Might buy it right now? Yeah. Yeah? I like dad shoes. What's your favorite dad shoe on the market right now? Oh, right now? Oh. Young. The Young One Frieza. The Young One? Ah, oh, the Frieza. The Young One Frieza. Okay. Okay. That one and uh, what's the other one that I'm wearing. Oh, the Easy 500. Yeah, that's oh, nice. What's, what's oh, the Puma! Thunder, Thunder Electric. Thunder Special? Oh, Electric? The electric. I have one in orange with metallic. Ah. Oh, cool. Did you see my socks? Mango socks. Dried mango socks. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so for this first round of the sneaker battle, Carlos has chosen Nike basketball. So we can only pick Nike basketball sneakers for the first round. We'll have you guys vote over on Instagram, at SneakerTalksCA. And Carlo, what's your Instagram for the people who don't know yet? Carlo Ople, C-A-R-L-O-O-P-L-E. Make sure you guys follow both of us and uh, let's see who wins. Let's get started. For the first round, what's your pick? This one, I just love the brand. I love, I love Kobe. I love Undefeated. So everything about it, from the camo design to the overall vibe of the shoe, fire, win, grill level shoe right here. I went with the uh, this like Lakers colorway for the Kobe One Pro Tros. This is a clean, clean, iconic kind of colorway. I feel like I might lose because I feel like the Undefeated ones can go for more of a streetwear look. You can wear them with pretty much any outfit. These ones you have to be a diehard like Kobe fan and and use these mainly just on the court. But we'll see what you guys vote for. So uh, yeah, that's round number one, the Kobe one pro show battle. This area that we're in is called High Street. So it's one long stretch of streetwear stores, yeah. restaurants, and sometimes you'll even see like buskers mm. playing and singing depending on what's, you know, on schedule and a lot of really nice places to eat. So a lot of people actually go here to go on dates, hang out and stuff like that. The next store is Seoul Academy. This has got to be probably one of my favorite stores in Manila in the GBC area. They carry a variety of different brands. I really like the layout to the store. It really feels like a living room and it has a really nice chilled kind of vibe to it. And they also get a lot of cool releases too, like the Dragon Ball Z releases. Alright, so we're here at Soul Academy for round number two of the sneaker battle. And I think for the theme for this challenge, we're gonna have to go with women's only sneakers. So Ooh, cool. I'm not a woman, you're not a woman, but we're gonna see who can pick the better woman's shoe. So yeah, let's do it. Alright, so for my pick, I went with the Adidas NMD R1s in this like pink color scheme. I know the ladies love the NMDs. It's still a fan favorite amongst everyday use. And I think this pink colorway with this cool design on the prime knit is actually really unique. Hopefully you guys vote for this over on the Instagram poll. But let's go see what Carlo picked up. Something different. This is the Nike Experience EXP-14, if I think if I remember it correctly. So this is the colorway that I want because this is the exact same shoe that my wife uh, wanted to get. Uh. So I trust her judgment more than mine. <laughs> so I love the color, but I have this in men's size, so it's super comfortable uh, and it's so underrated if you ask me. What do you think about these 100s? 
I love the box, man. And the style is just crazy. I really think Puma is going to make a comeback. There's like so many different materials and yeah. used and the color scheme is very unique too. It's not the kind of shoe that you see on feet on people today. So yeah. that's really a good thing. Mm -hmm. So we just finished up at Seoul Academy and we're walking over to the next door. But I am like looking at four random cats just hanging out on this like sidewalk. What are you doing here, buddy? Why are you just chilling here? Oh my gosh, look at those fangs. There's cat number two over there, just chilling. Number three is about to pull up and, and uh, say what's up. Hello, <laughs> hello. Number four is over here, relaxing as well. Can we pet them? Can we pet them, Carlo? Yeah. Or, yeah? Oh, you, oh, no, 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 hello. Come on, I love you. I love you. <laughs> Community so cats. People here actually take care of them. So wow. people randomly arrive and give them food. Yeah. I think there's an association called Cara. There's an association that actually takes care of all the cats here. That's so, so cool. they come here every now and then, they feed them, make sure they're okay. So next up we're going to Titan instead of the Adidas store because well Titan's right behind us. And Carlo, I need you to give us the lowdown about Titan. What's so great about Titan? So Titan is like the Jordan brand store of choice here in the Philippines. They release some of the well most of the exclusives from Jordan brand they released the off-white jordan 1 unc the jordan 1 nigel sylvester and a bunch of other jordan even the pine green the green and violet i forgot the name uh jordan ones they came out with and even the lebron 16s which as you guys can see is sold out but it's in green hills mm. <laughs> So with what Carlos said about Titan being the store to get your Jordans at, I think it's only fair if we make it so we can only get Jordans for round three of the sneaker shopping challenge. So I already know what I want, so let's uh, let's see who wins round three. We have a little dilemma right now because Carlo was going to pick the Black Cement 3s, the same one. but I beat him in a very fair way to decide who goes first, and so I chose the Black Cement 3s. Carlo's having a really hard time figuring out which sneaker to go with right now. He's been like deciding for the last Last three hours we've been in the store. It has to be Jordans, right? Not LeBrons. Jordans only. Jordans only. You know what? I think Lebr I'll let you go with the LeBrons. If you want to go with the LeBrons. Wait. <laughs> One quick thing before we get to Carlo's pick. I gotta say, this like Canvas Air Force One is really clean. And if you just put on a second swoosh, these will become Travis Scott Air Force Ones. I'm just saying. All right, so Carlo, what is your pick for Titan? You went for something really classic, so iconic. So I wanted to get something a little more edgy mm -hmm. and progressive. <laughs> And loud and out there. So what are these? This is the what, what are the these? LeBron. What so the LeBron? 16, I think, yeah. So, yeah, it's crazy. The color is intense. Man, take a look at that outsole. Oh my gosh. It's so funky. <laughs> so, it's definitely not for everyone. I'll probably lose this round, but man, very different, very unique, very standout. One really cool thing about Titan is that there's also a barber shop inside of it. So, if you want to get your hair cut while you pick up a fresh pair of shoes, what well, better time to do it? So, for round number four, we have Athlete's Foot. Now, I shopped at this store earlier at Ayala Mall. I picked up those low top Air Force One utilities. Straight fire reviews already up right now. So, check it out. I'll leave a link down below. But, Carlo, you're the Filipino expert here. Tell me about Athlete's Foot. What can we expect to find in here? Well, Athlete's Foot is, has been aggressively expanding here in the Philippines. So they have a lot of store locations, which a lot of the brands don't have right now. Now, they, it's, most of the pairs are not really hype pairs, mm -hmm. but every now and then they release something that will really surprise you. So for example, the Element React 55s. I, I'm not sure if that's a big thing, but that came out here. And they also came out with a bunch of Jordan ones that were, you thought were exclusive with Titan, mm -hmm. but it also came out here. It's not in this branch, but they have, uh, they're the store that carries a lot of Li Ning sneakers. Mm. Li Ning is a Chinese brand, I think you guys, you're aware of it. Yep. So they have a bunch of them in their power plant mall, not in this branch. Alright, so for round number four at Athlete's Foot, we're gonna go with a general release theme. Basically, all the shoes in here are general release. So I'll let Carlo pick first because I got to pick last time first. So, Carlo, what is your pick? Air Force One utility with the overbranded style. I think it's so in today. A lot of brands are doing it, but I think they did it really well with this one. It's not too overboard, it just looks really cool. 
and the overall style, they still were able to capture the essence of what the Air Force One is all about without going overboard. For my pick, I am gonna go with the Air Max 270. These sneakers right here in this red colorway, I'm a huge fan of the Air Max 270. I have two pairs of them already and you guys know I really mess with these shoes a lot and I know a lot of you guys have these sneakers as well. So I think I might win just because you guys love the Air Max 270. But at the same time, I think Carlos- No, he won't win. Really, hey, 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 you had your segment, you had your segment. But um, yeah, I think I'm gonna win because Carlos bad at picking sneakers and I'm way more better than him at picking sneakers, so. <laughs> Ooh, what's, he, what's he looking at? What's this? What are we looking at here? They aren't, they haven't come out yet. Are those like utility? They're Air, Air Force, Force 270s. 270s. Yeah. Wow. The leather looks really good. Anyways, as I was saying, I'm gonna go with this red colorway of the Air Max 270s. Hopefully I win this round and then we can sweep them up in the fist. All right, so we're in the Adidas store. No need for introduction. You guys know what they sell at the Adidas store. Lots and lots of Jordans. So we're gonna go and do a final special round for the challenge. It's gonna be one boost shoe and one non boost shoe that we have to pick. So whoever picks a better combo is gonna win. And this might even be the tiebreaker round if it's a close, close game. So with that said, let's pick up the last few sneakers. Now, before I show you guys my selections for the sneaker challenge, let's take a look at the Ultra Boost that they have. And they have a bunch of Ultra Boost I've never actually seen before in person. They have this like really wild, pastel easter kind of colorway of this laceless ultra boost they got this similar kind of color scheme on the regular ultra boost 4.0s they have the ultra boost mids and this is one of the first times you see the ultra boost mid that's not a kith collaboration i know the kith collaboration was a big big deal so it's cool to see that they're making more mids they got some more atrs up here with that easter kind of color scheme and then they have a third colorway i guess of the ultra boost mids and i'm not too big of a fan of these i like the kith or uh this version the most and these ones really remind me of the kith version as far as the ultra boost goes here's a look at all the ultra boosts they have quite a few funky colorways of the adidas alpha bounce these nmds sort of give me that like mastermind kind of vibe we got the adidas logo on the side right there the adidas laces that's something you don't see very often with that adidas branding all over there pretty cool shoe and then they also have the camouflage NMD R1s. These are straight fire in my opinion. We got some more gum NMD R1s. If these released like two years ago, these would have sold out instantly, but it's 2018 and the hyper NMDs is not as high as it used to be. And the last NMD colorway I wanna show you guys, this is black and yellow. And we don't really see too many yellow NMDs. So this is definitely a refreshing colorway to find. Here's a look at the originals. We got some derupts right here, hot pink. We got blue, we got black. Here's some more. And now, now it's time for the last round of the sneaker challenge. So let's check out Carlo's picks for the last round. One very safe, very clean, triple white Ultra Boost 4.0. You can't, just can't go wrong with them. And something to balance it out. Really funky Alpha Bounce. One of the most underrated sneakers, if you ask me. Value for money. And for myself, for the Boost sneaker I chose, I chose an Ultra Boost as well. I went with the, uh, the with the, what's it called? The 3M. <laughs> 3M 2.0s, go away. You're, 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 you're not allowed to troll. No, I'm kidding. So we went with the uh, 3M Ultra Boost 2.0s. These things are crazy, crazy nice. These just restocked, as some of you guys know. And then for the non-boost sneaker, we went with the Stan Smith in that white and red colorway. I'm a sucker for anything white and red. And uh, this is just a classic, all-time classic Adidas sneaker. So those are all the sneaker selections locked in for the sneaker challenge. Now we're gonna leave the Adidas store. I think we're gonna grab a coffee or a snack of some sort. So we'll show you guys the results over there. We interrupt the sneaker battle for a quick sushi break. And oh mm, my gosh, that looks so good. Mm, yeah. Yeah, shout out to all my mango juice gang. I love y'all. All right, so that's gonna wrap up our time here at Fort Sneaker Shopping Challenge with Carlo in the back. He's paying for parking. And uh, yeah, we're now gonna announce the winner for today's video. The first round went to Carlo with the undefeated one Kobe Pro Tros. Second round, we have me winning with the NMDs. Third round, <laughs> that I was just won. Fair. <laughs> <laughs> I won with the Black Cement Threes against the uh, the Kobe or not Kobe, so the LeBron. LeBron. So what the LeBron? So that's two to one. Ooh, Carlo won round four, 59 percent to 41. And for the tiebreaker, we have. <laughs> How do you feel, Carlo, after a tough loss? It's okay. You, you, you cheated me on the... <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it was good. It was good. It was good. Well fought battle. Well fought battle against Carlo. If you guys want to see more of him, check him out. I'll leave him linked in the description down below. Subscribe to this fellow Pinoy sneakerhead. Sports. And uh, yeah, with that said, we'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace. Peace.